The Detroit Lions, the addition to the offensive line at the guard spot. And Brad Holmes got in the lab, and Brad Holmes cooked again, D-Mac. Doing, he, doing what he's done. I, um, Zintler? Zeitler. 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 So Kevin, Kevin Zeitler. Zeitler um, Iron Man. Yep. Plays, he's older. But plays every game. But plays all every the time. game, right? So to me, and I was asking Matt Broder this earlier and about, you know, we know that Jonah Jackson's moved on. and But I'm looking at, to me, this looks like more of what they did bringing Graham Glasgow in last year. It's it's veteran guy, a guy you can be dependable. This allows Glasgow to go to the left guard, correct? Yes. And the fact is, is it like it's his leadership. The way it seems like, yeah, this guy seems like a Dan Campbell guy right off the rip, right? Just with his work, yep. workhorse, his mannerism stuff. Uh, the big thing that I like is um, his bread and butter is uh, uh, pass protection. So that, and you put him beside Penny, you know, like, like, uh, like this, this adds a team. And, and not only that, I immediately after seeing, you know, that going first, I go to, okay, well, what's going to cost us? And even though the contract's not out yet because of physicals today, but roughly 10 to 12 million. So you're saving money from what Jonah Jackson got. And, and then you might be, would you say improving because of the durability? I mean, that's one way of looking right, at it. Right, right. Yeah. Like, with with the strength that you have, and are we still agreeing that our offensive line is the backbone of, of our team? Oh, it's the most elite unit they have. Okay, right. Now, did you just add to that elite unit by bringing in, like, a veteran, you know, it's like bringing in a, a sergeant. I don't I'm in Sorry for not knowing military or lieutenant from somebody else that's battle hardened and whatever like this off of five tours and you know now he's coming in and teaching you all the tricks and stuff like this um, just adding to it like I, I like it too because not only there's got to be things I'm sure that that he can show Penny Sewell right and and how how does this make the the rest of this offensive line better right um, so. I think the way you open the segment, Brad Holmes cooking. Yes, yes sir. That's, that's ex exactly, you know, KG, like, how can you not love this move? Because not only financially, but to me it's durability. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the league, that availability is the best ability. Durability yeah. is, is high up there, and especially at that position. Uh, Broder, um, yeah, was talking about it earlier and i guess that the numbers are starting to to come out right now on the zeitler signing um seeping out yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> uh at my sports update ari uh with the information looking at a one-year six million dollar base salary so steel one wow. year six million dollar base salary well you tell me money guy uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> there it is Yes, yes, uh, I will take that yeah. all day long. So again, every okay, you know what? I'm not gonna be coy about it anymore. Talk I'm not, talk I'm, about it. KG, don't be hyping me up. Talk right about now, it, bro. Neil. Oh, KG, why, what happened? KG, don't be doing this. No, nah, I man. got to, man. You're gonna, you're gonna get me going. You're gonna get me going. Crack the egg, KG. What all right, happened? Look, for the fantasy football, uh, hot take. Uh, let me just move on to the next biggest name free agent. <laughs> is that cornerback room better? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. the offensive line better? Yes. Yes. What are we talking about then? Like, what was everybody tripping out about, about Brad Holmes, and he's sitting there, and the Lions aren't doing anything? What are we talking about? Yeah. Look at what he's delivering to you. That's true. And he's cooking right now. And he's, he's not just, I'm not talking about the Zeitler signing in and of itself. Low key, nobody talked about this. Carlton Davis restructured his deal. Yeah. Spread spread the salary out. Uh, they added four void years on the end of it. What don't you guys get about this? Like for the people that that wanted their fantasy football style signings and all that kind of stuff, let the man cook. And I was cool about it before when we were talking about. It. I said I'm not worried. I'm not worked up about it. But now I am. Yeah. And I'm worked out worked up about it from the other side of it, because what this man is doing. 
is unheard of it's in true. this town with the football team. What Brad Holmes is doing, the moves he's making, silent, right? You know what I'm saying? He's, he's working at night with and night vision. He's like Santa Claus. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He comes down the <laughs> chimney, he delivers the presents, and then Brad Ho Santa Holmes is on his way. <laughs> and, the, and the children are left with glee yeah. when they wake up in the morning. And here we are. What more do people want from this man? What more do you want? And guess what, everybody? If he makes moves in the draft, let him operate. I don't want to hear anything from anybody. Moving up to get this guy, to get that guy. I don't. How much more does he have to do for you guys to just chill yeah. and just let the man cook? How much more? What more has he got to do, KG? He, he doesn't Someone have to tell do me. anymore. He, you got to let the man work at this point. But I think a lot of people were just upset because the moves came at a, at a slower pace than we would like. So what? Uh, and they weren't as flashy. We didn't go after maybe the top three or four names on the board, but we got really good players for about the same or, or under um, the number or under the value. So um, I, I think it's really good. I'm really excited for this draft because Brad Holmes can really – do what he wants at this point. Like, there's no limitations. There's no needs, no extreme needs to feel. Just let the man work, like you said. Brad Holmes should do the remake of Sinatra's My Way. Maybe that would come across. Maybe the music. No, Because I'm. he's going to do it his way. He is. And it's their way. And it's not his way. It's their way. That building's way. And the, either you are get in or, I mean. Yeah. Did there, Neil. I blame you now. <laughs> if you get upset by the idiocracy of people, they'll, they'll never be satisfied. It'll always be more, either money or draft well, I, or whatever. No, no. I so, have so, to illustrate it when, you, when you're done. No, th that's it. So it, you can either be amused until you want to get off the, the merry-go-round, right? I, I get it. Enjoy it while it is if, they enter, if you're See, entertained. See, I don't get that, D-Max. See, I, I don't, don't I, I just refuse because I see where it's going and I enjoy it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look for the positives and all this other stuff like that yeah. until there's time to bring up negative. Because why am I? Why live in that space? There's enough negative, you know. Like like honestly, because he's proven it. I I said it last week, Kenny. What did I say? I said just can we just give him his time? I mean, yeah. why he doesn't have to be, like, hasn't he not earned that? And then what's he done? Like, I mean, so uh, it it hasn't been sexy, but it's been effective. What? No, it has been. So sexy. you know what didn't? It's Kevin Zeitler at six million you know dollars. You know what didn't work? Yeah, that's yeah. sexy to you because you would like the bag first. Oh man, it's, no, no, it's, but but it's not it's the triple see, X rated. See, and in the past regimes, they fell for sexy. Exactly. Right, but this regime is different, right? So that it's not about the sexy. It's about the who's going to get us to the next level. D Mac, like the people, and you say get it, you get excited because as you go to the bag for like you're more excited, like because how much more valuable is he now? D -Mac. Durable and cheap. Yeah, D Mac. <laughs> Holy, like your this, this Neil, guy, your favorite. This guy has missed nine <laughs> games in ten hey. seasons. <laughs> hey, if we were at the like if if football was like at the strip joint and you come in and Neil, what Neil looking for? Durable and cheap, right there. <laughs> oh yeah, durable oh, yeah. and but, cheap. <laughs> but Pro Bowl caliber. But Pro Bowl but caliber, caliber all day, <laughs> right? Exactly. No, but D Mac. <laughs> It, it it's it, it goes beyond like it's past rate like Kevin Zeitler at a six million dollar base, it's what's being reported right now, goes beyond rated R, goes beyond NC seven. It's triple X, man. Like that's <laughs> that, I mean it, especially it, at six million. Uh, it absolutely Hardcore is. stuff, huh? No, but and, and I look at look coming from Baltimore too. So you, I respect that organization. And so there's so much more. I think this is even you know. Like bigger than that because of what he brings and experience wise. Um, here, here's what I'm going up against. And look, I this this is very divisive, and it's going to cause friends to become em enemies in the in the temporary. It is. And D N C E N T, a, a, a person I vibe with in the chat, 100. percent However, Neil, in all caps, at that point, the off season was a mid cornerback and injury prone defensive end. At that point, no, we weren't happy. Now, okay, yes, D N C E N T. What evidence did you have to suggest that it wasn't going to end this way? I would have. What, what were you? What were you basing that anger see, off of? I would have. He should have said I was just. He should have been disappointed so far. But let me see a play out, right? Just not angry because it wasn't over with. You know, everybody. It's never else, over with with Brad Holmes. Oh, ooh, it's never mark over that, with. Kenny. It never is. Yeah. Right, because he's playing at a different level. 
And he's uh, cooking. And here's the thing. We see his reactions and stuff. Like, cause, can you just see Brad Holmes when he's making these deals? He's just ah, slamming the phone down. Like, yeah. Did he? <laughs> I want a camera. I'm a savage. Uh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, man. Uh, Andrew Klingerman, Neil getting swollen. I mean, you could... I would imagine that you guys could see that evolution on camera right there. I'm going to have to go back. I don't. I rarely go back and watch episodes. I think I'm going to have to go back and watch this one. I, I imagine you could probably see, you know, just. You swole up? Yeah, I, I imagine you could see it. Um, but, yeah, gave you the best of both worlds, man. Gave yeah. you the best of both worlds. Of every Good world. Uh, has, has, there, has their ability to do extensions been compromised at all. No. If anything, it's been helped. It's more Car flexible. Carlton Davis restructured. Yeah. Six million, and then it's really 4.5 when you account this year. But 4.5 million, look where it went to. Kevin Zeitler. Gave you a two-for-one. Yeah. Gave you a two-for-one. What the whole BOGO? Wow. Yeah. I, there will be, you know what? I'm, I'm calling it now. So, and, and so look, Neil, is this fair enough to say? Right? What Brad Holmes is doing is what the elite GMs in this league are doing in their own way. They're cooking with their own hot sauce. Yeah. Right? He's on that, uh, he's on that level now. We just, you know, didn't see it. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the better meals to come out, doesn't it? No, it, it does. And, look, we are – I'm calling it right now, and I'm drawing this line. And you can do what you want on all the other shows on this network. I don't care. I'm not on those shows. I'm on this show. There will be no more slander. The Brandon Katz and everybody like that, until you hit me with evidence, which you do not have, because there is none, until you hit me with the evidence, there will be no more slander. You guys like this, don't you? Everybody's lathering up right now. There oh, yeah. aren't any detractors on Kevin Zeitler at $6 million base? No, sir. Any detractors on that? No, sir. No, there is not. So that's enough. He's a better pass rusher than Jonah ever was. So that's, I, guys, that's it. There's nothing else to say. It may not fit your narrative. It may not be your fantasy football draft as sexy. But you know what it is? It's winning football moves. It's a winning front office. You know how I know? They won two playoff games last year and won one since Boys to Men was singing Bowtown Philly back again. <laughs> Christ's sake.